Hello everyone, I'm Nerdy Talking and today I will be showing you how to create maps using the tile map system in Unity. This is a pretty cool tool that will allow you to create maps for your games really easily and really quick. And for this video I will be using the same character and animation that we made in our past tutorials. So if you want to know how to implement a character like this, I will leave you the link to the videos in the description. And the last thing before we start with today's video, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if you have any question or any suggestion on how to improve, just leave it in the comment section. Okay, so in order to start with today's video, uh, I just want to give you a brief description of the time map workflow. Basically, what we are going to do is we will start by importing some sprites. Then we will generate tiles assets out of those sprites. And with those tile assets, we will create a tile palette that uh, we are going to use to paint our map in a tile map. And I know that this sounds a bit confusing, but trust me, it is extremely simple. So Let's start by creating a couple of folders to keep things organized. So inside of our project, right click, create folder. The first one is going to be the palette folder. Then I will create another folder for our tiles. And finally, I will create one for the sprite. And now we just need to import the sprite. So go inside the sprite folder. Um, for this tutorial, I will be using the following pack. The author is ARMM1998. I hope I'm pronouncing it uh, correctly. And this is a really good pack with all the basics to create an RPG game. I will leave you the link in the description. And as you can see, this pack contains a ton of things that you can use in your games. You have grass, mountains, buildings, water. I won't be using everything today, so I will create a separate file just with the tiles that I'm going to use, just to keep things simpler, but you don't have to. So all that I have to do now is drag this file inside of our project. And for the import settings, I need to change the sprite mode from single to multiple. Also, since this is pixel art, I will set the filter mode to point and the compression to none. I apply the changes. Now I need to split the sprite. So sprite editor, slice. And I know that these are 16 by 16 sprites, so I will use grid by cell size, 16 by 16 and slice. Now we just hit apply. And finally, uh, I will change the pixel per unit size to match the, the size of the sprite. So I will change it to 16. Apply. And that's it for the sprite. If you have any question uh, or any doubts when importing your own sprite, just let me know in the comment section and I can make a, a video on that specific topic. But now let's go back to, to the tutorial. And the next thing that we're going to do is create a tile map. So let's go to the hierarchy, right click, to the object, and inside to the object tile map and we see that we have a new object now called grid this is a game object that unity creates automatically and this is because all the tile maps need to be child of a grid game object so that's why we have this one we are not going to get into the details of the grid now just leave all the values uh, as default so now let's get the tiles window. So go to window, 2D, and tile palette is the name of the window. And let's dock this window to the right. And inside of this window, we can see that we have a very informative text that says create new palette in the dropdown above. So we go to the dropdown, create new palette. 
and we need to set a name so let's use nerdy talking tutorial and now we hit create we choose the palette folder that we just created and now we need to create uh, the tiles uh, the text here says drag tiles sprite or sprite texture as a here so let's grab the sprite that we imported before is inside sprite just drag it into the window and this is going to create us a bunch of tile assets so let's choose the tiles folder that we also created when we started and now we can see all of our tiles inside of the tile palette window and we can start painting with, with them we see that we have a bunch of tools on the top and these tools are pretty much self-explanatory they are the same tools that you will find in any drawing application or any drawing software so for example let's start with the brush tool so we can select the tool or we can use the b key then we select a tile and we can start painting some grass in the map Now let me add a little bit of dirt and as you can see this is a bit time consuming so we can switch to the rectangle tool and this will allow us to paint an entire area so choose a tile and now we can select a whole area to paint with that tile and this is pretty good to save us some time. We also have a new race tool and as you may guess this is to delete tiles you can also achieve the same result by using the shift key so for example let's say that you're using the brush let's paint some water and now if i hold the shift key i will start deleting the tiles i can do the same thing with the selection tool so i can erase the entire uh, ground. Let's paint it back. And we also have a bucket tool to fill an entire section like this one. So grab the bucket and we'll paint it with dirt. And now we just need to paint them up. Okay, this is a good starting point, so let me hit play to see how it looks in full screen. And I can see that the player is not showing up and this is because the player is behind the, the ground. So what we have to do is select our player and change the order layer to a bigger number basically the higher the number the closer the object is to the camera so now when we hit play we can actually see our character okay then it's time to add some obstacles now let's try to add some of these bushes if we select a bush and we start painting with this bush we can see that we end up with some gaps in our map and this is because the bush tiles have transparency and the same is going to happen if we want to use these tower tiles let's take for example the, the top one if I want to use this you see that in the corner we have a gray area because that corner is transparent so what we have to do is to add these uh, tiles on a separate layer a layer on top of this one and to do that we just need to create another tile map every tile map works like a layer so let's name this ground and create another one for bushes so to the object tile map and rename it let's call it bush or bushes 
and now if we go back to the tile palette we can change which tile map we are painting on so let's select bushes and let's paint and as you can see now the bush is painted on top of the grass so let me paint some bushes and see you in a bit And this is the final piece of the bushes, so let's hit play and nothing happened. This is because of the ordering layer once again. So our ground tile map has an order layer of zero. We will set the bushes to one. Now I hit play again and I see the bushes, but I can still walk over them. So what we have to do is to add a couple of colliders one for the tile map and one for our character so let's start by selecting our brushes tile map add a component and look for tile map collider 2d and now if i zoom in i can see that every tile in that tile map has a collider that we can interact with so let's grab our player now and also add a collider, in this case a circle collider 2D and I will make it a bit smaller so let's change the radius to 0.4 and also let's change the rigid body, let's make it dynamic set the gravity to 0 and inside of constraint let's freeze the rotation inset now we hit play and we can see that we are no longer able to walk on top of the bushes and now that we have the basics with the ground and some objects that we can collide to it's just a matter of start adding some details to the map so let's go back to the editor and try to add a couple of towers I will start by creating a new layer so Let's start by creating a new tile map named Buildings. And this time, instead of drawing one tile at a time, we are going to select all the tiles for the tower. And now, if we select the brush tool, we can paint the entire tower. But now we see that the tower is being drawn behind the brushes, and this is once again due to the ordering layer. So let me paint the two towers and now let's go to the tile set and set the ordering layer to two so it is drawn in front of the bushes and now since we want the character to collide with the tower we need to add a tile map collider the same way that we did with the bushes and I would also like to add a roof to one of the towers and as you can see I cannot just uh, paint it over because it has some transparency so as you guess we need to add a new tile map, a new layer I will name these decorations and I will also change the ordering layer to 3 because I want the decoration to be drawn on top of everything so now I select the roof, I select the brush and I paint it on top of the tower. Now for this layer I want the player to be able to walk uh, through it so I won't be adding a, a collider. Just to show you let me erase this bush and when we hit play we can test if the player can walk behind the roof and it can and it is also drawn uh, behind so that's good and we can also see that uh, the player is not able to walk through the the towers so we have the towers with colliders the bushes with colliders and the decoration uh, without colliders and now i'm just going to draw some water using the same techniques so we'll see you in a little bit Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, and that's it for today's tutorial. As you can see, it is really easy to start creating level using the tile map system. And I hope that you can take this and implement it in your own games. Also, this is quite an extensive topic and I just covered the basics. So if you guys are interested in this topic, I strongly suggest that you go to the documentation in Unity. And if you want me to go deeper into the tile map system, just let me know in the comments and I will do an extra tutorial on the topic. And that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next video.